make sure to check us out at 16levels.com. I just dropped the master class for the MPC Live 3 not too long ago. So make sure you check it out. And if you are a member already over there at 16levels.com, I greatly appreciate it. And you will see these type of videos before everyone else. The main thing that we're gonna tackle today is the topic of how to use an iPhone or an iPad with your MPC utilizing the USB type C to type C connection on the back of the MPC with the wire that is provided by a Kai professional. However, it's important that I tell you guys that if you have something like an iPhone 12 or anything below the 14 that has a lightning port, it will not function with the MPC and you need an iPad like the pro version of the iPad. So the pro series, in order for you to utilize this tool as well, or anything that has a native type C port. So if the device that you're using has a USB type C port, then more than likely it will function with the MPC with the right applications. Of course, I will demonstrate this with an iPad pro 11 from 2019. So you're in the ballpark if you have something like that. So if I wanted to sample my iPad over here and I would just plug up a type C right here, plug up type C to your MPC to your iPad or whatever you want to sample, go right here, set it up for your input. I believe it will be USB input, USB input one. Then we can monitor it or not monitor it, play it through there. You can monitor it. go into my sampler. So I'll double press to get the sampler to pull up. Then I'll play the track to see if I got any audio. If I don't have any audio, then that means that you should set up, or I should in this case, set up the USB port. So let's select the USB port, USB port one will do. And if I wanna preview what I'm sampling or whatever, I'll just monitor in and you can see that it is going through and now I can sample. What if I want to do the exact opposite and send MIDI to a device via type C? Well, that's pretty easy to do. Well, one thing to consider is that you might need an audio track and then make sure that you select your input and your monitor on, turn your monitoring on, but you will just go over here to your MIDI track. You go to your MIDI output port here. And then you will select your USB MIDI port one. And then from there, you will go and select a plugin of your choice or whatever you want to control with your tablet. From here, you would just select your settings within whatever app that you're using and set up your ports. And you'll see that the MPC live ports are there. So then in theory, once I press on the pad, it will play audio, except I haven't set up my audio. Now from here, I just go over to this right here and then select the input port to be on USB input one. And then from here, I'll choose monitor in. Now that everything is established, we have sound here. And I'll make sure that you see that I'm selecting a preset. So let's select a preset in any way possible here iPad gang, where we at? We're here, we're here. And that's not all either. There is one more thing worth exploring when it comes to the applications on the iPad and it is AUM. AUM allows you to do multiple channels type stuff. So I think it's ideal for the MPC and probably will give us a great workflow between the two. So this is AUM right here. And when you open it up for the first time, it will open up with this plus sign in the middle. And once you hit the plus sign, you can choose between an audio track, a MIDI track or import track. So well, the first thing we need to do is set up our MPC yet again for success. So let's get in practice of doing so. So you're gonna make a new track and that new track will be a MIDI track. And once you get that MIDI track together, then you need to go to the MIDI out because we're sending MIDI out to the iPad in this predicament here. So to repeat, the fundamental rule is MIDI out to MIDI in. So if you want to send MIDI out to something, then it needs to receive it. So the unit that's receiving it is the MIDI in. So you put in the MIDI in of that unit, while the one that you want to control with the MIDI is the MIDI out. So the NPC is the MIDI out. 
I'm going to go ahead and select USB MIDI port one. The next thing I'm going to do is make a audio track. So let's go ahead and make an audio track here. And we're going to select USB input one and two because we want it to be stereo. And then we can choose monitoring in and that will take care of all the sound. And from here, we'll just go back to the MIDI track and we can set up a MIDI output channel, just like how we did in FL Studio. If you haven't seen that video, the MIDI channel will be one by default. Now let's go to the iPad and select AUM. Some of you will have to go to the store. If you don't have it, that is, you will go to the store and purchase it. It is not free. I don't, the last time I checked, it wasn't free, but AUM, you were opening up AUM. AUM will go through the loading process. You will hit the plus sign over here, choose audio. Make sure that you choose audio. Don't choose MIDI. I chose MIDI and then I will look really stupid. And we're gonna go over here to our audio unit extensions. From audio unit extensions, we'll pick Operillo in this case here. The next thing you wanna do is set up your MIDI settings in here. And we see one connection, so we'll make sure that it's connected to the MPC so I can control it from the MPC. And once I can control the MPC live ports, and I choose port one because we're using port one, we get sound and boy, I gotta turn it down. So we getting a lot of sound here. You know, the best thing you could do is just close out your plugin of choice, turn down the volume. The fun doesn't have to stop there. Remember, there are multiple channels that you can use. So from here, you can go back into your plugin. Then you will go to the MIDI settings or the MIDI settings and you can see channel filters and you can set up your channel filters over here. So I will do two. I will turn all these off and leave that for channel one. And when it's said and done, I still have control over here. Then I'll go over here. I'll exit out of that. Go back into AUM, add another audio track, add another plugin. We'll add Electribe Wave. We'll see how that's gonna be. I'll select that, select the MIDI keyboard, the MPC, MPC Live Port 1. Then we'll go back over here, and this time we'll choose two for this. We'll go back into the MPC, then create a new track, MIDI track. Of course, we're using the exact same thing. So let's go down to USB MIDI port one. And then from here, you'll set up the MIDI channel to be two instead of one. Of course, you need audio so we can hear the synthesizer or hear the iPad in this case. And we'll set up the input ports again. We'll use the exact same ones. One and two. Monitor in. And then we'll go back to this track to see if everything will work perfectly. So everything does work. It's a sawtooth. I'll turn on full level on the MPC and then I'll press on the keyboard. And you can hear that it is exactly what it's supposed to be. All right, so let's record something in real quick. Go ahead and turn the click off. And then we'll navigate to MIDI track number two. Let's uh, set this up for a C minor. If you're witnessing this all in real time, as you should be, you'll see that we naturally have something going in front of us. That's Arparillo. If I wanted to change the presets on Arparillo, I can.
let's go with something let's go into bells so we have a dramatic difference and now let's go over here let's mix it first because we can mix in AUM that's why I brought it up in this video there we go and I'll pick out a new preset here Whoa, that, that thing is violating. Yeah, I set up the presets. I can change the presets and, and do more stuff. I can add more MIDI tracks and audio tracks and record within this right here. As I'm just displaying it from the MPC as of right now, you guys can see instantly what all it can do in a sense, as long as you know what you're programming. Keep in mind, I haven't even bothered to talk about if you happen to own Cubasis or any other DAW on your iPad or tablet or wherever you want to look at it. That means that you can send, return audio, manipulate MIDI, etc., etc., and get a. F you use your iPad more so than you have. And with that being said, the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper. It's all up to your imagination. And there's always things that I will cover in the next video. Let me know in the comment section, of course. And if you are happen to be a member already on 16 levels and you have a master class, that's how you become a member. I appreciate the support. The link will be in the description box. Let me know how you feel about this lesson.